the Abuja Archdiocese Assistant Justice Development and Peace Commission, JDPC, has organized a Thanksgiving meeting to appreciate parishioners of their Archdiocese for their efforts during the 2022 Lenten campaign. The meeting was an opportunity for the Commission to give an update on the monies raised during the campaign and the targeted project for the year. It was the gathering of representatives of Justice Development and Peace Committee from various parishes of Abuja Archdiocese. They are here to take part in the appreciation and thanksgiving meeting organized by the Justice Development and Peace Commission of Abuja Archdiocese. This meeting, which is the first after the flag off of the 2022 Lenten campaign, is meant to appraise the performance of the campaign and to provide updates on the total fund realized and how it will be used for the common good. The meeting began with a Holy Mass, officiated by Reverend Father Solomon Uko, the Archdiocesan Director of JDPC. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you, and with your spirit. In his homily, Father Uko called on the faithful not to be afraid, especially in this period of insecurity in Nigeria. Fear is part and parcel of life. I was coming into this compound, and discover that they have changed their security personnel. Why? Why are they changing them? Because of? According to him, Catholic priests are now endangered species with the recent rise in the kidnapping and killing of priests. And the Kujé prison break has also worsened the insecurity in Nigeria. The church now, some people are scared because what happened in Owo can happen in any other place. For those of us who are priests, we tell ourselves because we are like the number one now, we are endangered species. I tell my parishioners, the day they come and carry me, they have carried me. Because it can happen anytime. The guys are here with us. But the Lord says, don't fear them. Because what they can do is only to kill you. But if it's not your turn to die, even if they shoot that body, it will not, not touch you. Before the end of Mass, special prayer was said on the petitions brought in from the various deaneries. When the Mass was over, the appraiser meeting began. The Vice Chairman of Abuja Archdiocese and JDPC Commission, Sir Josephat Abago, in his remarks, appreciated all the benefactors of JDPC for their support to the Commission and pledged that the fund raised will be judiciously used for the common good. He also commended the parishes for their efforts towards making the 2022 Lenten campaign a success. Executive Director, who is a priest, Father Solomon, thank you very much for saying the wonderful mass to us and also for telling us not to be afraid when fear is the prevalent thing in the world and especially particularly thank our benefactors who always make our Lenten planning campaign a success. So I'm thanking the benefactors that are here and through you, the JDP members from the various deaneries, parishes, throughout the Archdiocese of Buja, I thank you very much. Sir Joe Nkamuke, who represented the Director of Church and Society, CSN, in his presentation emphasized the importance of peace in development making reference to the current situation of Nigeria. Nigeria needs development. Everybody needs development. I was coming from Motoko Diocese yesterday. I was so afraid that Father said, crossing from that place to here. He was telling me, we all need development, but nobody, no country, no people can develop without peace. No. There can never be development without peace. And Nobody can achieve peace without justice. Reverend Father Solomon Wuko, the director of JDPC, unveiled the proposed intervention program, which is the youth center targeted at empowering the youth of Abuja Archdiocese. Over 300 naira a liter. So it's horrible. So there is a way you can meet online, have meetings, find out what is happening in the parishes. The major cells are the parishes. We need the parishes to be functional functioning very well, so that whatever plans we have from the Ash level, 
we can step it down to the parishes. Various deanaries took turns to present their report. Mrs. Mabelade, the technical advisor to JDPC, in her remarks, emphasized the need to restore unity in Nigeria by registering and voting in the 2023 general elections. I have seen where young children are seated under the mango tree or the, what do you call it, the neem tree. And the campaign is going on with the young children. And I ask, why are you talking election voting, all of this to these small, small children? They are very important to us. They are the ones that vote. Don't be surprised. This is Nigeria. I have seen it all. Sometimes we don't even have the platform to say. Now, the last two elections, the other one, 2015, was it? I was watching everything. I was watching everything. All of a sudden, people that voted, their votes didn't count. They were counted as invalid. That's the Nigerian election. These things happen right in front of us. Sometimes they are counted at the polling unit as valid votes, but they are taken elsewhere and they, the ink is smeared on them and they become invalid. The 2022 Lenten campaign updates and the total amount raised was announced by the director of JDPC, Reverend Father Solomon Uko. There were question and answer section in Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.